Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala. Amma ba'd. Fa'audhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون وفي آية أخرى قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كلامه المديد وفي فرقانه الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسمه إلى آخر الآية قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من صام رمضان ایمانا و احتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من زنبه و من قام رمضان ایمانا و احتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من زنبه او کما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في شان حبيبه ومحبوبه مخبرا وآمرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه وسلم صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه وسلم صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه وبارك وسلم بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله Respected مسلیان کرام Respected Muslims around the world, beginning of my speech, I like to give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave me power and ability to say a few words about the blessed month Ramadan and the importance of keep fasting. As the blessed month Ramadan is coming soon, only few days left. The month of Ramadan is the month of forgiveness. Month of Ramadan is the month of mercy. Month of Ramadan is the month of being free from hellfire. This month has been divided into three parts, which has been reported by many of companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the month of Ramadan which has been divided into three parts. Awwaluhu rahmah wa awsatuhu maghvira. 
وَآخِرَهُ عِتْقٌ مِّنَ النَّارِ First ten days are called mercy. Middle ten days are called maghfirat, forgiveness. And last ten days are called free from hellfire. Aitkum min an-nar, najat. So now I'm here to say a few words about Ramadan. About fasting, in this month, what should we do? If we keep fasting, if we worship in the blessed month of Ramadan, we will be able to get bonus rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should be happy, we should be joyous, we should be grateful to our Lord, the owner of Arshi Allah, creator of this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he gave us a lot of ni'mat, lot of pleasures, among them the best and greatest pleasure is the blessed month Ramadan. So I like to say a few words about Ramadan, insha'Allah. We know a year contains 12 months and among them the best and greatest month is Ramadan. Why is the greatest month? Because in this month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down another greatest pleasure which is called Quran al Karim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in his holy book Quran al Karim. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسمه The month of Ramadan is the month in which Quran al-Kareem has been revealed Quran al-Kareem has been sent down that's why Quran is the greatest niyama. That's why Ramzan is the month of honor and respect. It has been the greatest month. It has become the best of all months. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent his holy book Quran al Karim in this month. In Ramadan, there is a blessed night which is called Laylatul Qadr. Night of decree. Night of dignity. Night of honor and respect. What is Laylatul Qadr? What is the significance of this night? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a surah about this night which is called Laylatul Qadr Suratul Qadr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr Tanazzalul malaikatu wal ruhu fiha Bi-idhni rabbihim min kulli amr Salamun hiya hatta matla'il fadr Suratul Qadr which contains five verses 
in this surah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described about the significance of the blessed night which is called laylatul qadr allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr surely i have revealed it i have revealed this book quran al kareem in the night of blessings and mercy in laylatul qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr do you know what laylatul qadr is do you know what is the significance of laylatul qadr how important of this night in islam laylatul qadr khairum min alf shahr the response is laylatul qadr is the better than thousand of months allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to say laylatul qadr is better than thousand months laylatul qadr hote 1000 masher che dami tanazzalul malaikatu war ruh fiha in this night all of the angels come down war ruh and the spirit that jibril alayhi salatu was salam come down in this land in laylatul qadr with all of the angels tanazzalu al malaikatu war ruh fiha bi izn rabbihim by the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala min kulli amr with all of the matters with all of the issues this are the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tanazzalu al malaikatu war ruh fiha bi izni rabbihim min kulli amr salam nahi hatta matla al fajr and this night is night of peace and mercy peaceful night allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to send peace and blessings in this night hatta matla al fajr till fajr till subh sadiq till dawn so this is the golden chance to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get a lot of rewards from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get peace and happiness from the owner of our shimu allah if we can worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this blessed night then it will be better than thousand of months so in ramadan we will find this blessed night this happy moment this successful time when is laylatul qadr there is a contradictory discussion in hadith about the night of qadr our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said taharraw laylatul qadr fil witr min ash al awakhir min ramadan so research laylatul qadr in last 
10 odd nights of Ramadan. So if we try to find out the Laylatul Qadr, we have to look for the night in odd nights of 10 days of Ramadan. So, Laylatul Qadr has been very precious for getting Quranul Kareem. From these words, from these words, we could easily understand for Quranul Kareem, Ramadan is the best of months for Quran al Kareem. Laylatul Qadr is the best of all nights for Quran al Kareem. Ramadan is the best for Quran al Kareem. We can be able to the best of this world. And after life as well. So let's come and recite Quran al Kareem. Try to understand its meaning and explanation and analysis. And try to establish our lives according to Quranic rules and regulations. If we hold Quran al Kareem first in our life, we will never be misguided. Not only Quran al Kareem, the explanation of Quran al Kareem is Hadith, which is the ideology of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our Prophet is our Iman, our heart. His ideology is the ideology of Quran al Kareem. His sunnah is the sunnah of Quran al Karim. Once the mother of believers, Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, was asked by some companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O oh, our mother, O oh, mother of believers, can you explain the ideology of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Then she replied, O oh, companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, don't you recite Quran al Karim? Don't you read Quran al Karim? Remember the ideology of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the whole Quran al Karim. Subhanallah. Quran al Karim. Is the straight copy of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In this book, there is no lying, there is no backbiting, there is no cheating, there is not any kind of committing sins allowed the same way. In the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no lying, no falsehood, no backbiting, no cheating, no quarreling. In the life of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brothers and sisters, I like to say this pure, sacred, Holy book, Quran al Karim, has been sent down in this blessed month. That's why the month Ramadan has been best of all months. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Shahr Ramadan al Ladi unzila fi hil Quran. The month of Ramadan is the month in which Quran al Karim has been revealed. What is Quran? Hudal linnasi wa bayinatim min al huda wal furqan. Quran al Karim has a lot of qualities. 
here is mentioned three qualities by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hudallin nas. This is the guidance for mankind. Wabayinatin min al huda. And it is the clear proof for guidance. Wal furqan. Criterion. Which can separate truth from falsehood. If you want to recognize which is halal, which is haram, which is valid, which is invalid, you will easily recognize from Quranul Kareem. In Ramadan, we have a lot of duties. Among them, the first and foremost duty is to keep fasting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَسُمْهُ Whoever find Ramadan, whoever is present in the time of Ramadan, he should keep fasting. So main duty in Ramadan is to keep fasting. Not to take food. Not to drink. Not to eat in daytime. From Fajr till Maghrib. This is the first duty. We should be protect. We should be protecting ourselves. We should control ourselves from taking food, from eating and drinking, and from intercourse. This is the main duty in Ramadan. In Ramadan, we can get bonus rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever performs a nafal worship, optional thing, he will get equal rewards of compulsory duty. Whoever perform one good thing, he will get rewards of 70 good things in another month. Whoever perform a force, he will get equal rewards of 70 force in another month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Assawmuli wa najzibi. Fasting is only for me and I will give rewards for fasting. Somebody might ask, is fasting is, is fasting only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is salah not for Allah? Is zakat not for Allah? Is Pilgrimage, not for Allah. Yes, every kind of worship for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, As-sawmuli wa najzibi, fasting is for me and I will give rewards of it. Because there are many reasons. First of all, Fasting, it is one of the qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We fast in daytime and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fasting every moment. He doesn't eat, doesn't drink. He doesn't take food. This is the quality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fasting, we can gain taqwa. 
God consciousness, God fearness. I don't know, are you fasting or not? I can't see. If I keep fasting, people might not know. Because if I want to take food, then I can take food in a house where all of the doors and windows are closed. Nobody can see. But I believe the owner of Arshimu Allah, the powerful creator, the greatest one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he can see everything. So fasting can create a Fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God consciousness. Taqwa. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala ladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. O you who believed. O believers. Fasting has been compulsory upon you the same way it was compulsory upon those who came before you. Lallakum tattaqoon so that you can be muttaqi. You can be God conscious. You can fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember those are very respected who has taqwa in their hearts, who are taqwa ban, who has God consciousness. Where is the house of taqwa? Where is the place of taqwa? The place of taqwa is our hearts. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, At-taqwa ha-huna, at-taqwa ha-huna, at-taqwa ha-huna. Fa-ashara ila sadrihi thalasa mirar. He said, Taqwa is here, taqwa is here, taqwa is here. He pointed to his chest three times. The other people doesn't know is your taqwa existed in your heart or not. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that. Wallahu alimun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all knowing whatever in your hearts. So every moment, every time we should lead our life according to taqwa. Brothers and sisters, in Ramadan, we can recite Quran al Karim. If we can finish, complete Quran al Karim from beginning up to end, we'll get equal rewards of. 70 times complete Quran al Karim from beginning up to end. So, this is the golden chance for us. Normally, if we read one letter, we'll get 10 rewards for each letter. But in Ramadan, if we read one letter, 
will be able to get 70,000 rewards. So we should not ignore reciting Quran al Karim in Ramadan. So we should keep fasting, we should recite Quran al Karim, we should read Tahajjud Namaz an extra sunnat namaz in ramadan that is called tarawi namaz 20 rakats tarawi namaz which is sunnat muaqqada we should not leave it we should perform tarawi namaz which is sunnat muaqqada near false In this Ramadan, people who are writers, who are glorious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do especially four things, two for themselves and two for satisfying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Two for themselves, that is, they seek Jannah and they want to refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from hellfire. They make dua like that, Allahumma inni as'aluka al-jannah wa na'uzubika min al-nar. Wallah, I seek Jannah and I refuge in you from hellfire. I take shelter in you from the fire of hell. And another two things which are satisfying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of them they say many, many times, Kalima Tayyiba. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. And they say Astaghfirullah. Every time they seek forgiveness. Astaghfirullah. Inna Allah ghafoor rahim Astaghfirullah Inna Allah ghafoor rahim My dear brothers and sisters If we can keep fasting If we can recite Quran al-Karim this fasting and Quran al Karim, which will be able to intercede on behalf of us at the day of judgment, when brothers will not benefit us, <coughs> when sisters will flee away from us, when mothers will not be able to recognize us in that critical situation. Quran and fasting month, fasting will recommend on behalf of us. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, As-Siyamu wal-Quranu yashfi'ani lil-Abd. Yaqulu al-Quran, ay Rabb. Yaqulu al-Siyam, ay Rabb, inni manatu tu'am. والشهوات بالنهار فشفعني فيه يقول القرآن أي رب إني مناته النوم بالليل فشفعني فيه فيشفعان Our Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said 
at the day of judgment at the day of recompense quran and fasting will intercede on behalf of us to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fasting will say o oh allah i forbid your slaves from eating drinking and ambition at the day time so accept my recommendation and quran al kareem will say o oh allah i forbid your servants at night time from sleeping i prevented your servants from sleeping at night time so i am recommending on behalf of him so accept my recommendation allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept the intercession of fasting and quran recitation subhanallah and he will allow us to enter into jannah place of peace and happiness brothers and sisters so this is the golden chance to enter into jannah our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned whoever found ramadan in his lifetime but he didn't keep fasting in ramadan he couldn't enter into jannah he is extremely an ill person ill fated he is not lucky person but those are very lucky who found ramadan and kept fasting in his lifetime allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said as saumuli wa najzi bi fasting is for me i will give rewards for fasting with my own hands though all other worships for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but fasting is special because in another worships there might be cheating there might be showing off to other people but in ramadan this kind of bad qualities bad thinking are not available our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there are three people whose dos must be accepted not rejected must be accepted one of them parents when parents make dua for their children this dua is accepted dua of musafir travelers who travel over 48 miles their duas are accepted and duas of fasting people when fasting people make dua this dua is accepted subhanallah all day long after fasting at the time of iftar when people sit down for taking iftari for breaking fast and they are waiting the fixed time they are waiting for the fixed moment fixed time then allah subhanahu wa taala is to 
converse with his angels. He tells his angels, 